God, he looks rough. <laughs> so do you. At least he's got an excuse. You don't think he's dead, do you? No. Not yet, anyway. So, I'm guessing you're probably hungry and a bit thirsty and wondering what we're planning on doing next. Well, we thought we'd include you in the process. So while we're all thinking about that, we'll get you a drink and something to eat. And then you can help us decide whether to drive you out of here in the passenger seat or in the boot again. The thing is, for any of this to happen, the tape has to come off. And I need to be sure that you're not going to make a sound. OK? <sighs> I'll have the apple if he don't want it. <laughs> Lachlan this morning. I don't even know if he's up. Oh, yes, he's up. Problem? Oh, he's still got that ragamuffin hanging around. What? What's that noise? Get off me! Help! Help! Shut Simon! Chrissy, help me. What on earth are you doing? Take him down now! I can see where he gets his psycho streak from. Put him up to this, did you, to warn me off? To warn you off what? What do you mean, go? You're part of this now. Sorry, mate, it's just... it's all got a bit intense. What guarantee do we have that you won't say anything? My natural honesty and discretion. Oh, just leave, Jerry. Good seeing you. What is wrong with you? I was trying to help. You're all insane. Well, someone better start talking. What is this? Honour amongst thieves? Lucky? What would possess you to do such a thing? I was protecting you. So I start showing an interest in this man and you abduct him. Can you tell me what exactly you're protecting me from? When you're being uncharacteristically quiet? Just know we had your best interests at heart. If you don't do better than that, I'm going to lose it. What was Simon threatening that you were protecting me from? I'm your uncle. My name isn't Simon. It's Tim Richards. Chrissy, I'm your real father's brother. Dead father's brother. I feel physically sick. I know you're angry. Angry? Is that some kind of joke? This is a nightmare. What are you, some kind of sicko? No. Oh, I'm sorry, have I offended you? What's happening? Not now. He's told me how dangerous my real father is, so you coming here and stalking me seems pretty much with the family tradition, but I I'm sorry if I've hurt your feelings. Oh, we're talking dangerous, are we? When he's had me beaten up, not to mention him, having me bound and gagged overnight. What? And as for what he's told you... OK, that's enough. How come you're not asking yourself if any of it's true? Why the hell would I? I'm in a room with a blood relative that I wanted to... You came here and let me throw myself at you, my own uncle. Why on earth would I believe anything you say? So just go. Will you make him get out? You heard her. We tried to warn you off, tried to spare her this. Yeah, that's what you were doing. Well, she knows who you are. Now leave. Doesn't know the full story, does she? I mean it. Doesn't know why I came in the first place. Take it easy. What you did to a real father. What is he talking about? I reckon she's got a right, don't you? 